everyone this is dr aruna singh associate professor in school of education noida international university in module 1 we have discussed the subject assessment for learning and in that module we have discussed all the conceptual terms related to assessment that is uh, measurement assessment and evaluation now in this module we will discuss perspective of assessments this will be the outline of this uh, video lecture introduction after introduction you will be able to understand learning outcomes behaviorist perspective of assessment cognitivist perspective of assessment constructivist perspective of assessment and references yes now uh, previously we have discussed that assessment is a very comprehensive term and it is the integral component of our teaching learning process this is the significant indicator assessment is a significant indicator with the help of which the teacher comes to know about the learning style of students about the weaknesses about the strengths of the students and accordingly they can change their strategies to improve uh, the behavior of learner learner or to improve the uh, quality of the learning as well as teaching so uh, this is the integral component which takes place in day to day teaching learning activities this is very much significant indicator of learning and helps the teacher to gather information about the learning style about the strengths and limitations of learners and accordingly the teacher can adjust teaching strategies it is also a process to provide feedback to learners right uh feedback is the process which is inbuilt in the process of assessment a teacher it is essential for teacher to understand the changing perspective of assessments changing perspectives of assessments are taking place due to the change in learning perspectives over the period of years to integrate assessment practices in our day to day teaching learning process is an in an effective manner so these are the learning outcomes after completion of this module 2 you will be able to explain the concept of perspectives of assessment and you will be able to elaborate behaviorist constructivist and cognitivist perspectives of assessment before uh, starting or before uh, directly jumping on the topic of perspectives of assessment let us understand how this perspective of learning is changing as we all are aware of annual examination system which used to takes place in a traditional period in the education system assessment was there that time also but the inadequacy of this system has also been realized and highlighted by various policy documents by various commissions time to time and various efforts have been made uh, to move away from the traditional annual examination practice traditional annual examination system to continuous and comprehensive evaluation and most recently we have uh, replaced this assessment with we have replaced the term evaluation with this assessment so there are two kinds of shift we can see from the traditional period to the modern period number one that we have moved away from the uh, annual examination system to comprehensive continuous and comprehensive evaluation cce in which the assessment is going on and on in formative as well as summative manner secondly we have moved away from numerical assessment where the assessment was done in the form of numerical uh, sorry the numeral numbers 
and now we have upgraded this system by making it to a grading system so have you ever reflected on the principles underlying such shifts why these shifts are taking place yes exactly as the learning perspective is changing over the years same the assessment perspective is also changing side by side so we are going to understand all these perspectives related to learning first is understanding behaviorist perspective to learning as per the behaviorists learning is the result of influence of external environment on human being it is an association between stimulus and response and then resulting change in between the main proponents of this perspective are thorndike and skinner as we have learned this in first semester uh, thorndike and skinner they are the behaviorists and they uh, uh, they uh, concluded that learning is manifested by change in human behavior if the behavior is changing of of the learner if the behavior is changing that means learning is taking place environment shapes human behavior and contiguity and reinforcement are central to the learning process as per the behaviorists learning is very much mechanical if we are showing some stimulus to the learner then there definitely there will be some response which results in learning so this is how they assume that learning is manifested by change in human behavior and environment environment of the human of the learner that helps in shaping the behavior Conti contiguity means the closure and the reinforcement reinforcement can be in the form reinforcement can be positive or negative but it should be in the direction of motivating learning so assessment according to behaviorist perspective learning outcomes are experienced in observable behavior anything which uh, anything new which can be experienced which can be observed in behavior after giving training after presenting stimulus that is uh, supposed to be the learning outcome objective measurement of ability and achievement that means uh, uh, objective measurement of ability and achievement is assumed uh as the assessment according for according to the behaviorist perspectives learners personal experience and socio cultural text contexts are not considered in this assessment because this is very mechanical type of assessment examination system encourages rote memorization because they they are focused on the uh things which they are training the same thing should come out as the change in behavior so it is uh, uh, emphasis is on rote memorization and recalling kind of things uh, creativity analysis synthesis all these uh, higher thinking orders they are neglected in this behaviorist perspective more emphasis is given on recall and completion type of systems complex learning skills like analysis critical thinking reflection uh, problem solving these are neglected as i just explained students are ranked as per their performance in the examination uh, whatever they have written how they have performed performed in the annual examination they are uh, assessed on the basis of that then teaching learning process and assessment are focused on quantification of information quantification means the numbers which has been assigned to the learner they are this process teaching learning process based on totally on that quantification then class tests annual examinations are means of assessing students 
individual assessment based on individual needs is not emphasized so we can say this is not a learner centered or child centered approach but this was prevailing for many years and uh, in few uh, respects on few grounds this is also required now let us move uh, towards the cognitive perspective of learning so first let us understand what is cognitivist uh, perspective it is just opposite of the behaviorist perspective okay in contrast to behaviorism the cognitivist theories which are given by uh, sean plj he believed that learning is an integral process in which new information is assimilated in one's cognitive processes right new information is assimilating and proponents of this type of this cognitive uh, perspective of learning are piaget then bruner and david p ospel piaget identified four stages of cognitive development this we have already learned in first semester initial stages of our uh, psychology classes but still it is uh, mandatory to mention about the piaget theory as you all know there are four stages in this developmental theory cognitive development theory first stage is sensory motor stage which is from 0 to 2 years second is pre operational stage 2 to 7 years then concrete operational stage 7 to 12 years and formal operational stage which starts from 12 years and continue till adult age according to piaget these stages play very important role in the learning of children and they cannot learn certain things until they have reached to the level of cognitive development in other words we can say that mental readiness of learner plays a crucial role in learning and should be considered for assessment as well that means the mental state if the mental state is very high and uh, strong then they can learn more than their age but if the mental, mentally mentally the learner is not ready to learn then we cannot train them in any manner as it is said in behaviorist approach this is child centered approach of learning and evolved about uh, evolved out of piaget's cognitive development theory which was further reinforced by bruner right bruner takes it on another level uh, they he emphasize on active learning right in this both piaget and bruner they stressed on the importance of activity in learning uh, learner in such type of activities learner can observe but uh, they can practice they can manipulate they can modify and they can construct their own knowledge they also stress on uh, uh, they also stress on the relative experiences to the previous experiences of the learner clearly in this type of cognitivist perspective of learning there is no single or uniform method of assessment because it is based on their uh, learners creativity learners uh, constructivity their experiences their analysis analytical level their synthesis level their evaluation level the creative level so assessment is not linear from this perspective instead it is a spiral and continuous process so a teacher has to inbuilt assessment in the activity itself and determine the assessment procedure according to the developmental stage according to the experience and exposure of the learner so uh, cognitive development of learner determines assessment methods no uniform method of assessment and assessment is not linear as we have seen in behavioristic approach that whatever we are teaching we are taking the assessment we are taking the exam in different manner but annually and the performance 
performance is uh, assessed on the basis of their uh, on the same thing which they have learned nothing creative nothing there uh, they cannot express their feelings they cannot uh, you know add on their experiences and all that so but in cognitive perspective which is just opposite of this we are giving place to their creativity to, to their personal experiences their self analytical and self realization self uh, synthesis uh, kind of levels also we are giving importance so it is a spiral and continuous process assessment is based on developmental stage uh it is based on their own experiences and exposure of the learner that means we are giving importance to their social cultural background also because a uh, learn we don't live in isolation we are the social animal and every learner he learns something he gathers some information since from the birth with themselves they carry all those all those values all those culture within themselves and they uh, all this learning they affect whenever something new has been told to them so it is based on developmental stage it is based on experience and exposure of the learner according to constructivism uh knowledge is actively constructed by the individual learning is an adoptive process which is based on these experiences so the mechanist view of learner as passive recipient of the knowledge as we have seen in behaviorist approach they are the passive recipient they are they have given full authority to their teachers that whatever they are teaching is correct and they become the passive recipients of knowledge now this perspective has been replaced by the view of learners as situated and active knowledge constructors now let us understand what is constructivist perspective of learning this is the modern perspective constructivist constructivism according to those people those who believe in constructivism knowledge is actively constructed by individual and learning in an adoptive process based on these experiences the main proponent of this perspective is lev vygotsky and learners personal experience their personal experiences play an important role in constructivist learning active involvement of learner in the learning process subjective knowledge rather than objective knowledge is given right when we are giving knowledge in behaviorist approach we are giving knowledge in small small steps that is the objective knowledge we are given but in this the uh, stage is open to all the students in a subjective manner so that means the learner is already is also included in the teaching learning process they can construct their own learning on the basis of their on the basis of their previous knowledge as well as on the basis of their previous experiences how children learn is important not what do they learn or the end product of learning so end product of learning is not that important but how they are important how they are learning is more important in this perspective social cultural context is is given importance human uh, human touch and socio cultural content their values they have given importance in this perspective constructivist perspective in this perspective uh, assessment is co context specific not uniformly used for all learners right assessment is not uniformly used for all the learners because every learner is different 
every learner has something special in them and they can construct their own knowledge that's why the assessment is context specific assessment aims at examining learners ability to link ideas apply knowledge and some problems so in this type of assessment examining when we are examining learning learners uh, ability that means we are examining how they are linking ideas how they are applying the knowledge right the application of the knowledge is given importance on the basis of application we are assessing learner in constructivist perspective of assessment helping the learner to modify refine their thinking through appropriate scaffolding and feedback we need to help learner in this type of perspective we have to refine their thinking whatever they are holding already that we have to ref refine we have to help them we have to hand holding them we have to give the proper feedback at the right time and a variety of assessment tools are in this are used in this perspective of assessment it aims at potential development of learners right potentially the learner can be strong in artistic field he can be strong in sports field he can be strong mentally he can be strong emotionally so all these perspectives are taken care of and assessment aims at the potential development of learners assessment of process of learning along with its product right in this assessment is the process of learning learning takes place at every step of assessment and finally we get this we get some product so it is focused on the process of learning along with the product in this self and peer assessment takes place self assessment can also be done and peer assessment can also takes place in a group like when we are assessing someone in a group one can be uh, on higher level one can be at average level one can be at little lower level so uh, the scaffolding can be provided at the required level help can be provided we can refine the students uh, development as per their profile assessment is spiral and formative that means it goes on and on assessment is also a process of learning in this type of perspective in constructivist perspective of assessment formative as it is taking place at short intervals of time within the class period so it is formative because after a small period span of time you are getting the feedback and we are uh, working upon the teaching strategies as well as, as well as learning towards the refinement so this is a small assignment for you what is behaviorist perspective of learning explain con, uh, cognitivist perspective of learning where they are focusing and explain the constructivist perspective of learning these are few references which i have taken thank you students